And that musician, Jimmy LaFave, just wrapped up on stage. He is battling spindle cell sarcoma, a rare form of cancer. Fan friends and fans are teaming up to honor his legacy. And KVU's Michael Perchik joins us live from Threadgill South. Michael? Mike and Quita, anybody familiar with the Austin music scene knows the work of Jimmy LaFave. Tonight's show sold out with people being turned away at the door only to turn around and try and catch some of that music from outside the gate. So we made our way down here to speak with both friends and fans to learn more about his impact. For nearly 30 years, the name, or more aptly, the music of Jimmy LaFave has gone hand in hand with Austin's famed live music scene. It's why this week's news of LaFave's illness, a rare form of cancer believed to be terminal, is so startling to everyone but the man himself. You never know about anybody and when it's time for them to really call on their reserves. Owen, you know what, what they've got. Go on. He as calmly delivered a message as I've ever had, right? Sitting right over there. Famed Austin music promoter and friend Eddie Wilson learned a few weeks ago of LaFave's condition. He's known him for nearly 30 years. What calm strength Owen, he's displayed. LaFave's been in Austin for decades, but has roots in Oklahoma. His unique genre of red dirt music has stood out even in the eclectic local scene. I think he's just um, kind of tearing up a little bit. I think he just means so much to so many people here in Austin, and um, his music is very relatable. It was that sound that caught the attention of Texas Monthly writer Jan Reed years ago. I hadn't written about music in 20 years, but I was all pumped up to write about him. From an interview subject to now a friend, Reed was one of hundreds of people to come out. The solemn part of it is that every time might be the last time you get to see him. For Sandra Wilson, it's a chance to take in another performance, but offer something in return. But it just, it just fills my heart with love to be able to give back to him. We could never give back to him what he's given us, but at least he's able to, to see. We did request an interview with LaFave, who respectfully declined to honor him. Friends setting up a GoFundMe account with the proceeds going towards some of LaFave's favorite charities. That link can be found on KVU.com. And Mike and Quito, before we send it back to you, one quick aside from my chat with Jan. He said when LaFave was still back in Oklahoma before making his way to Austin, one of his openers, the famed Garth Brooks. It just shows you what an incredible career LaFave has had and fans behind me, hoping it continues. Live from Threadgill South, I'm Michael Perchik, KVU News, Night Beat.